Alright guys, welcome back to Solo Motion VFX. So we have done a BDB export from uh, Embergen to Blender and we've done one from Houdini to Blender. Let's try from Phoenix, uh, Phoenix FD, which is an uh, extra plugin to uh, 3 Max. So um, this is just to show you the very, very easy steps how to get your VDB files from Max into Blender. So I'm not gonna uh, teach anything inside Max or talk too much about it, just to show you the, the basic setup and how the export, uh, how the export settings are, but uh, I have an SVG file, uh, so let's uh, import that. You can extrude it however you want. Um, then in the curve modifier, it has this. Let's see here, geometry, and then you have this uh, extrusion here, so you can use that, or you can also just uh, give it a modifier. So for now, I'm just gonna use Fluent, and we're gonna say Toolbox Text to Mesh like so and then here i want to also apply the modifier so that's what i have now and let's look at the front rx90 like so and let's go in and give it a bevel modifier and we don't want to see the wireframe for now so let's just uh, viewport display disable wireframe now we can better see that bevel let's also right click and say shade smooth and go down to the object data property i think it's called then in the normals put on auto smooth that should sort that out so now you're ready to export it just go into file export do a obg obj and inside max just use a C up selection only. So instead of Max here, uh, I set up a little scene, a Phoenix FD scene. And uh, like I said before, uh, I'm not going to teach you anything here because this is just to show you how you can get your files out in the VDB format. Um, it's pretty easy. So uh, here I just set up pretty, uh, a pretty basic scene up where I have a body force, which means uh, my logo here, I want the smoke coming out of these three cylinders. Just made a polygon ID onto the top on the cap here. So on these three caps here, that is gonna emit smoke up to the specific uh, amount of frame and then it's gonna stop. And then they're gonna go up and form uh, the Blender logo by this body force here, right? So let's go in and say import. Okay guys, so when you have set up uh, your scene and you're ready, ready to go, just remember I use this body force. So remember to put in your your object. So my mine is called curve because it was original curve object inside of uh, Blender. So when I've set all that up, remember to go in and right click on your object and in the Phoenix FD properties, disable solid object and also right click again and say object properties uh, YDVF here and just uh, display as a box. That is of course optional. So when you're ready, just one last check, go inside and remember your output folder, right? So browse. And then in here, save as type VDB file, which is actually the, the format we want. It will be, uh, and it's an open VDB format, so that will be recognized inside of AMX. So in here, you can call whatever you want. Let's just call it GT uh, Smoke. And hit save. And uh, the start frame and stop is got, just going to do the whole timeline, unless you specify something else. So with this setup, let's just hit uh, simulate. And after that, we'll go inside Blender. Okay, so uh, see you in there. All right, guys, we already wasted a lot of time, so let's go, just go in and right to the source. So on your scene, Shift A, Shift A, get in a volume, open with a B, and enter your output folder from Phoenix FD. Choose one file, hit A to select them all, import. And that is, you can also see it in the solid view. And it's just a big uh, domain here. So of course, you can go in and scale it how you want, or just bring the domain down here. So when you have it like that, the way you go in and uh, color it, you go in and make sure it comes in like this. TT smoke, this is the file, this is the volume, go down to its attribute. We want these two channels, smoke and the temperature. So while this is selected, just hit the new button, 
just as we did with the bringing VDB files in from Embergen and Houdini. Then it's going to create this printable volume. And then up here in the density, just as before, write smoke PHX exactly as it's worded in here. And temperature PHX with a big T, like so. And let's give it a density of 10 maybe. Let's switch on cycles. There. So if you want to see it in normal mode, I'll choose solid view. But if you want to see it rendered, then you have to choose over to cycles. Let's just do a GPU, like so. And uh, basically, there you have it. And then, of course, just as anything else before, you can go in and uh, shade it however you feel like it. Exactly however you feel like it. You can also lower down the density if you don't want that much. Or you can bump it up to get more. Temperature 2000. Black body. Don't mess with that. That's just going to create this cube. So that's uh, more for the other two. When we are dealing with VDB from Houdini or Embergen. If you want to see some fire, then that's the one you're going to use. So let's bring that down to zero again. So... Uh, there you have it guys, I used uh, this exact method to get my smoke from my previous troll uh, where I did uh, a smoke coming out of a sci-fi crate box so that one uh, will definitely be useful so a lot of opportunities here and of course as you see the voxel size here I didn't go that much too much into detail you can just bump up the cell size oh sorry, lower it to get so if you cre uh, decrease the voxel size then you get a much better smoother result a much finer result but it's going to take a lot of hardware uh, storage and cpu power as well so thank you guys for that hope you learned something see you